Hey, welcome to the channel. This is Metal Sharpens Metal, and my name is Daniel. In case you're unfamiliar with what I do here, uh, I like to go over heavy music and analyze the lyrics and the instrumentation and all that stuff from a Christian worldview. That's, that's my worldview. And it has been a whole year since I started this channel, so I wanted to make this video to kind of sum things up, uh, talk about the past, what brought us here, talk about the future, where I plan to be going, and also merch i made some so we're going to talk about that at the end too so going back to the beginning um i said a few times that the purpose for me making these videos is that i wanted to show these to my kids one day to explain to them kind of how i as a christian processed things that were not christian with uh, my christian worldview also some of these songs are from christians but in general a genre of music that's kind of been painted in not the most forgiving light by christians in the past what gives what what gives you the right? Also, since my kids are not quite of the age where they can understand the extremely highbrow humor contained in the office clips that I love to sprinkle all through these videos, uh, these videos in the meantime, I see as a ministry, as a form of serving other Christian metalheads, other people who just like metal in general and want to hear what some weirdo like me thinks. Turns out you can just put your thoughts into a video and just throw it on the internet. But yeah, I just wanted it to be something that could be beneficial to other Christians and other non-believers as well. So as a celebration, let's go back and uh, look at the first video. Oh, look at me. I was, I was so young. I was so young. What's going on, guys? This is Metal Sharpens Metal. Today we have a music video by a band called Amora. The song is called Impacted, and it is a certified banger. So let's check it out. Okay, well, I was not as quick on the cuts I was I was a little more monotone, not as much zing and pep as we needed. Come on, let's zing and pep. See, that's those are the kind of words we're looking for. Yes, the people want to hear a random person on YouTube talk about their opinions. So get to it. Like a kick in the butt of hey, you've got a huge responsibility, and you're hey, you've got a huge responsibility. Who, it, who? Come on, man. Come on. I will say that my run times were generally shorter back then. Eight forty four versus now the. Average would probably hover in the 15 to 18 range, I would guess. Yeah, I'm curious if that uh, is something that you like one or the other. If you want them quick and snappy and just real bite-sized or a little bit longer where I can dive into concepts a little bit more. I'm probably going to keep the longer ones going unless there is a violent outcry for shorter videos because I don't know how to censor myself sometimes. I just I just keep going. But good to know. This song is still a banger. Um, I think I've just gotten a little bit better at making the videos now. So that's encouraging. I will say that another huge highlight that I did not foresee is that I have been able to talk to some of the bands behind these songs. And it's been an honor and awesome to hear directly from the artists themselves. So yeah, I, I got a message from Sarah from The Artificials. Uh, Mike Perez of No Bragging Rights subscribed to me and I made a ridiculous video covering that. If you haven't seen it, click on that. He also later made a personalized video to me Kind of correcting some of my uh, things that I had said in the Concrete Flower video for their band. So expect me to address that in the future at some point too and, and talk through some of those things. Uh, the guys from Bloodlines and Convictions have seen their respective videos and, and message th saying that they appreciated them. That was very cool. And uh, oh, Ash from Tesseract, their old vocalist. Yeah, you know, the one who sings angelically and you love listening to it. Uh, he commented on the short that I made from the full length video and said that I was correct in my assessment of the lyrics. So that's pretty exciting. That's pretty neat. I had no idea that would reach him. Very cool. Um, Carmen Yaka also commented on their video. Yeah, super cool all around. So when I started, I didn't have much of a goal or a plan other than just kind of, you know, whittling away at this big chunk of songs that I had been amassing for a while thinking, you know, I wanted to analyze these. And uh, I kind of fell into this rhythm somehow of releasing a video every Monday and that became kind of the new thing. I had to get like a backlog kind of built up so that I would have some lead time. And actually it was funny with the Lorna Shore song, which that was my biggest video, by the way. So another kind of milestone that was really cool. The first one to go over a thousand views. But um, with that video, they actually copyright claimed, I might not be saying the right term, but they copyrighted it in such a way that they wouldn't even let me upload the video. So I had to go through a 30 day dispute process and then at the end I could upload it. But when I realized that I was like, oh, I'm really glad I have this Spirit Breaker video <laughs> ready and waiting in the wings. So release that. But then I realized I need to have a backlog. So started doing that. That's a little bit of insight on how the sausage is made. I also developed this weird rule because apparently I just make weird rules for myself and I stubbornly decide to follow them and convince myself that it's an important rule to hold on to. 
but um, I wanted to do a different band every week. People were requesting more counterparts, more Tesseract, but I was like, well, I will get around to them again because I love them too. But for some reason, I made this up in my brain that I should put out a different band next week. So I continued to do that. Another little thing that I was uh, not doing intentionally was I was not asking for likes and subscribes and things like that because I figured you are on this platform called YouTube and you know how it works. I did ask for comments sometimes and implicitly all the time because I really do enjoy reading the comments. I read every single one of them and I respond to most of them. I realize that makes me sound very magnanimous because I am the hero you need. But you should also know that I get an average of like two or three comments per video. So it's actually not that big a deal right now. You should make it a bigger deal. Add more comments. Make it hard for me to keep up. Test me. Is this partially because I am bad at self-promotion? Yes. Is it also partially because I'm intentionally pushing back against the trends uh, on YouTube so that you can see how witty and rebellious I am? Also, yes. Oh, stop asking you know? yourself easy questions so you look like a genius. And the third kind of sub goal of what I wanted to do and what I was trying to do with my past year worth of videos was I did not want to be another run of the mill reaction channel. No shade if that's what you are or if that's what you want to do someday. I just didn't want to do it that way. I wanted to give a little bit more insight about the song, whether it was from listening to band interviews or uh, you know, a biblical application that you may not have made before. These videos are meant to hopefully stand the test of time a little bit because again, I want to show them to my kids someday. So I wanted them to be worth more than just, uh, you know, clicking on the new song and going, wow. And, you know, also maybe doing something like, oh, wow. And then, you know, try to act like I'm not distracted while reading through all my Twitch comments and uh, my eyes are darting back and forth. I think, you know, what I'm trying to say here. But at the same time, I was able to do things a little bit more reactionarily. Um, I was able to put out a Make Them Suffer video for that song uh, within about a week of the release. The Viljarta, Invent Animate, and Andy Sizik videos were all within about a week or two of the release of those songs. And uh, Convictions, I got out within maybe a month of their new song, basically like 15 lifetimes in reaction channel land. So we won't count that one. But the point is, I'm not planning to upload something just lightning fast pace unless I feel like I can do justice to the band, to the video, to the worldview contained. And uh, I, I think that those ones turned out okay. Going to the future plans now, I want to be able to do a little bit more of your requests. I want to be able to respond to those quicker. And I want to potentially dabble in the shorts space. I want to actually make some well edited shorts. We've got about three on the channel right now. They were just clips taken out from the original video. And that's fine but I think I could do a little bit better. So I'm gonna look into that too. I also plan to have interviews at some point with some people, secret surprising people that you do not know about yet, but hopefully there will be announcements soon or something coming up. But yeah, interviews with, with band members, maybe get some of my friends on and uh, have them to talk about a song that they really like, something like that. And also maybe do some uh, videos discussing my, my views on, on other things that aren't directly related to a song. So for example, a question might be, why don't we play metal music in church for worship? <laughs> and you know, just talk through my ideas on that. But yeah, ultimately, as long as I'm helping encourage you as a Christian, especially to take your worldview wherever you go while telling a few jokes along the way and uh, making you smile, then I will be extremely down with that sickness. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, but Disturbed, I am ready anytime that you're ready. Let me know. We'll collab. All right, and then the final announcement, there is now merch. I'm very excited for this. Uh, I've been wanting to do something for a little while. People were jokingly asking for it, but then I was like, you know what? I think that is the goal. So I set up an online shop where you can go to pick up some of these shirts and other things so that when you go to Thanksgiving with your aunt, you can tell her that you're not only going to continue to butt heads politically, but now there's some random guy on YouTube who also would probably disagree with her political views. And uh, maybe you can even gift her one of my shirts as a, as a real good gesture of goodwill. That's just how you clear the air with people. You get them shirts from people they disagree with. Why are you the way that you are? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe your aunt is based and Christian and that's, you know, a beautiful thing. So I would not, I would not denigrate her views. Sorry ants out there who are on the same page. We have this logo shirt, so it's got the swords crossing with the with the wreath thing. It's hard to do this mirrored. And uh, it says Metal Sharp is Metal because that's the name of the channel that you clicked on. Um, and there's, there's meanings behind all of that. That's noted in the descriptions there. And the other thing I'm really excited about is a line of merch on there called, that I'm calling the Modern Reformers line. 
and it's some more modern people. It's not the actual reformers. Those guys are from the 1500s. It's way too long ago. These are people who have shaped my understanding of the Christian faith, my understanding of apologetics, theology. I've benefited from their books, their lectures, their sermons. And I'm really excited for you guys to check some of these out because, you know, maybe you can resonate with uh, with some of the ways that they've benefited you because, uh, oh, look, we got John MacArthur, <laughs> Jeff Durbin right there. Oh, watch out. Here comes Greg Bonson. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. When I called the cringe insurance in the under oath video, that wasn't just for what they were doing to me. That's what I was doing to me. This is self-inflicted. So I hope you understand. <laughs> Seriously, these shirts have already gotten me in some great conversations with people to talk about either the context of the quote on the shirt or uh, just my faith in general, things like that. So I would recommend 10 out of 10. There's also some drinkware, some mugs and some tumblers in case you want to keep your drinks free from heresy as well. Disclaimer, these do not actually keep anything free from heresy. It's going to be up to you to read the word and be led by spirit. Yeah, the link for all of that will be in the description of this video and all the other videos on the channel too. So let me know if I'm missing anything. If you if you didn't hear something that you would love to see, you know, if enough people were kind of like, make a discord or do some tweeting on X or Xing on X, then, you know, maybe I'd consider that too. Again, put those in the comments. I will read them all because I said that I did and I will. So do that. Yeah, thank you for watching this far. Um, anyone who is not my mom, I hope you have been blessed by something that I've done on this channel. My mom too, but I just know that she was blessed because she tells me a lot that she's proud of me. <laughs> she's proud of me because of the way I dress. That's a deep cut. That goes out to my mom. She's proud of me because of the way I dress. Name that reference. I will be very surprised if somebody gets that. But uh, yeah, hope you've been blessed by something in the past. Hope you're as excited as I am for the future of this channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. It is a certified banger. So let's check it out. Why am I talking like the ATF just killed my dog? I'm not going to be too hard on myself, but come on, let's, let's bring that zing and pep. You know, that's, that's where I've been trying to, <laughs> that's one way that I've been trying to get better over the years. Years? It's been one year. Calm down, psycho. I'm not going to be too hard on myself. So a brief overview of the history of the channel. In the year 810 AD, when I was a pupil in my mother's eye, Mother Russia was led by Vladimir Putin in one of the greatest something something Soviet. <laughs> uh, I, um, all right. Look at him. This stupid face. Who do you think you are? Here comes Greg Bonson. I don't know. <laughs> so going back to the very beginning, uh, the year was 810. AD. And back then, I was a mere twinkling in my mother's eye, but Mother Russia was in control of one Vladimir Putin. Invincible man. Eternal. <laughs> my gosh. Yeah, this one's weird. Um, <laughs> I hurt myself sometimes. Uh, sometimes I can't. I can't muster the motivation when it's like, oh, you kind of... What was, what was why why'd you do that are you rushing you have no russian ties like what do you what do you even do okay i don't know come on thank you for clicking on the videos anytime you have you've seen a little bit of my work and that's exciting and kind of scary considering where my cringy brain goes at times i'm only sorry if it sounded bad i'm not sorry if it sounded good I'm, 